Well, thank you so much, Randy. And one of the things we did on that trade mission back in 2019 is bring people and give them the opportunity uh, to visit the Holocaust Museum in Israel, Yad Vashem. And it's been something that I had been able to do in my previous travels as a U.S. congressman. And I think what you're doing with this uh, reminded me of that on a small scale, because you can talk about the six million people that were killed. We all know that's terrible. You can read it on a sheet of paper. Uh, but what does that actually mean when you see uh, the tragedy, when you can see videos, when you can see some of the artifacts? And going through with Yad Vashem, I could tell you, everyone that walks out of there, you know, they're just speechless. And it really gets you uh, deep uh, inside you in ways that simply reading numbers off a page won't do. So I think on a smaller scale, what they've done with the cattle call is to give cattle cars to give people uh, an idea, a firsthand idea uh, of what this really meant. And uh, so I applaud you for doing that. I think this is a way, you know, to to better educate more people. Look, in Florida, we're proud of being, I think we're number one in Holocaust education in terms of the standards that we require. We've had situations where teachers have minimized it and they've been disciplined and that will happen. We're gonna to continue to do that and it's very important. Uh, but I think it's also important that they're able to be able to see um, this firsthand in terms of some of the things that they can find. It, it, it impacts people very much. Uh, Randy had mentioned when we were in, in Israel, we were able to sign the strongest bill against anti-Semitism anywhere in the country. We were actually criticized for doing it. They said you were too strong. Uh, but our view is, you know, these institutions, we should treat anti-Semitism just like we would treat opposition to racism. Uh, and that's what we're doing in the state of Florida. And I think we were the first state to be willing to do that. We've also been uh, really leading the way fighting the BDS movement. And when I became governor, we uh, had a tussle with Airbnb that we were able to win. But that BDS is important because what they're doing uh, is a reflection, really, I think, of, of an anti-Semitic viewpoint. When you target the one Jewish democracy in the entire country for disfavored treatment and you turn a blind eye to grotesque human rights abuses all across the globe, and yet you censor this one little country over and over again, and you leave the rest to be able to do really bad things. Why are you doing that? And they're doing it because that is the only Jewish democracy. And so when we see policies that specifically target Israel, it's not just because we have a good relationship with the country, because we see the motivation behind that and we have a responsibility to say, no, not here in Florida, not on our watch. And so we're gonna to continue to stand up uh, uh, for those. And if you look at the, the trip that we did, amazing relationships developed out of that. I think our state uh, probably has the strongest relationship uh, with Israel of any state right now. I mean, Mimi, would you, would you agree with that? Um, and you have all these people, I mean, Mimi knows, all, all these folks moving down here, um, a lot of Orthodox Jews, because they realize that Florida has been willing to stand up. And so uh, I think this is really important. I'm glad you, you brought this here. And I hope that all Floridians are able uh, to continue to have a deeper understanding uh, of the multiple dimensions of this. Really, what Randy said is true. I mean, it really is an unparalleled um, human tragedy. And um, I'm just happy to be with a bunch of people in the state capitol um, and really across party lines uh, that say, um, you know, we stand very strongly against anti-Semitism. We believe in robust Holocaust education. And we're going to continue to have a very strong relationship uh, with our friends uh, over in the state of Israel who are really fighting a good fight there, too.